What's up guys, Triplem here again and today we're taking a look at the Kulu 1500 milliwatt laser engravement machine. Now this is a pretty neat equipment to have guys. I've been playing with it for a couple days now and I am impressed so far. It is compatible with your Android, iOS, tablets, laptop as well as your PC uh, and it is designed to be able to be portable. So it does have a built in 6000 milliamp hour battery and it does work off Bluetooth as well as your USB cable. Last but not least, it does work on a lot of surfaces including leather wood and paper so in this video we're going to do a quick unboxing we're going to go over the specs install the software we're also going to test it out and see how it performs and we'll take this part out And it's very fragile, so let me try not to break it while removing it from the box. Alright, so we have this part, and we also have this box. Uh, first, let's see what's in the box. I'll put this to the side for now. All right, so it looks like we have some, um, we have a USB cable. We also have a little wood. All right, so it looks like we have a little Sharpie here. Put that to the side. We also have some square pieces of wood, very thin. We have an Allen key, another piece of wood. Some more cardboard. Not sure what this is until I read the instructions. We have a USB. This is um, A to B. We have a CD. And this is to install the software on the computer. Nice little instruction manual, which I will be indulging. I usually throw these out, but for this, I want to hang on to it. Here are the technical parameters. Here's the size. It's our 15 by 7 by 14 by 7 by 20. Communication interface, it uses uh, USB 2 as well as Bluetooth. So there is an app where you can actually go in and download this. And you can engrave directly from your phone, which is pretty cool. There's the output voltage, 5 volts, battery capacity, 6,000 milliamp, uh, laser diode, uh, Nika 405NM, and the V4642. Here's the discharge efficiency, 3.7 volts, 4 amps, laser temperature, 25 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees. Uh, image size is 550 by 550, so it's pretty small. Uh, supports JPEGs. As far as the OS, it supports Windows XP 7, 8, 10 and also supports Android 4 and iOS. Engraved mode is a bitmap, uh, DPI 350, certificate and objective and unsuitable graving materials. So definitely look this over before you go ahead and just put stuff on there. Shows here that it's smooth, organic, opaque, non-flammable, target material, for example wood, um, gray cardboard, bamboo, leather. So I will be demonstrating this on a one of my wallets later on so hopefully that works materials that you should not engrave pure metal transparent plastic white paper pp plastic etc so um definitely important guys and this little guy let me open it not exactly sure what this is but pop it open these are actually goggles. So I guess you have to protect your eyes while using this thing. Here's our main attraction here. Take that part off. Take the other part off. And just take a look around while it's still in the plastic. I'm not sure what side is up right now, so.
All right, so now that we have it out of the box, let's go over the actual layout. So on the top, you can see we have a fan right here, and that actually cools the laser as it goes back and forth. Right here, this is actually the reset button. So press that, it'll do a quick reset, realign the laser beam and everything. Here's your tray on the front, and there, you see that you have your laser right here. And there is a adjustment on the front, but I haven't played with that, or I haven't had the need to play with that, so that's good. Here's the brand, of course, Kulu. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And the power button is actually in the back. So in order to get to this guy, you have to reach your pinky in there just to press it. Nothing on each side. Should mention that this also has a battery, guys. This is a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Also, the USB port is right here on the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to the computer and show you guys what it looks like at boot up and I'm gonna show you guys how to install the software and we're gonna put this thing to work. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you pop in your USB cord. Just turn this to the side right there. Pop it in. You will hear it recognize on your computer. And once you pop it in guys, go ahead and power it on. So basically it lines itself, make sure everything's okay, then it puts itself dead centered and ready for further instructions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the software. I already inserted the CD in my CD drive, so let's go ahead and open it up. So here's a CD drive, click on that. Here's the disc. And you have a bunch of different options here, guys. I can't even imagine or can't even try to explain what all of them mean. I just know there's a manual right here. The installer's right there. They do have a bunch of sample pictures, which I have copied to a folder over here on my desktop. And I'll be showing you guys that a little bit later. And these are just, um, I guess, different versions, but I haven't used them or I haven't messed with them. Um, here's the installer. And it has three basic steps, but unfortunately these did not work for me. So I actually had to go online and install it. So um, if you guys want to give this a shot, maybe you will have different luck, but none of these work for me. So step one, if you don't have Microsoft.net as of yet, you need to install it. Um, most newer systems do have it already. So if you have Windows 8 or Windows 10, you should already have this installed. Next, you want to install the driver and then you install the actual software. So like I said, this did not work for me, so I'm not gonna um, go through this step. So if you guys give it a shot, I'm gonna show you guys what I got to get mine up and running. So let me move this over. And I will be putting a link in the description as well where you guys can get to this website. I am using Windows 10 64-bit. So this is the actual website that I got the software from. And this is the same website that the manufacturer, this is just the brand. So if you guys see the, the name Kulu, that's just the name of this particular uh, model. They, this is a generic laser and it is um, from transfer.com. So this is the right website. So once you get to this site, all you have to do is click right here where it says the drive and software for Windows 810, the zip file. Click on that. If you have Renoir, you can just click OK. It does take about 45 seconds or so. Um, to download. Alright, so once you're done downloading, guys, I'm using Renoir, but if you have 7-Zip or any other um, software that you used to unzip your folders, maybe the generic Windows one, um, it should look similar to this, but you will have the folders in here. Let me close out of one of them. And let me go ahead and just double click here. You can see you have uh, um, instructions right here on Word. You also have the driver and you have the actual software so all you need to do is run the driver let me just run it for you and you will get this pop-up click yes um, I'm gonna cancel this for now but you will get this pop-up and this is to install the driver this is necessary to get this guy up and running so from here just click install And there it is, driver install successful. Okay, so once that's done, we can exit out of this guy. And for this, this is actually the program right here. So all you need to do is just copy this and just paste it on your desktop like I've done right here. Just copy, 
the Nihi or N-E-J-E version 3.5. Just copy that to your desktop and you're all done. Okay, so one thing you want to make sure, guys, is you want to go to your device manager and just make sure that you ha have that actual port enabled for this printer. So just right click here on your start menu, go to device manager. I'm going to go down and go to ports. And if this port, this is the port that it uses, use USB serial channel 340 COM5. So this port, if that's there, you're in good shape. So once everything's downloaded, you're free to go ahead and just launch the software. And here it is. Now I should caution you guys that when I first opened the software, it was actually in Chinese like this. And I had no idea um, what I was looking at. So just poking around, the good thing is that this part is in English. Click the drop down, set it to your preferred language, and you're all set. So let me just do a quick, quick rock through off the actual software right now it just shows that you're connected there's a start pause reboot there's a send image to machine you have um, any position locate you have center locate rectangle locate so if you just press the any position locate center locate rectangle you can see it does a rectangle and that's pretty much how big your image is going to be so not very big let's do the center and now it's back to center all right so you have your action controls here guys up down left right so you can't actually move this up and down and left and right and you can just put it back to center all right so you have your progress control you have your backwards, redo, forward, clear, reload, shrink, rotate. Below that, it has your battery. So right now, it looks like I'm about about 70%, I would say, as far as the charging for my battery. Okay, over to this side. This is just the information showing what's going on, what commands are being sent to the actual device. In here, you can put in text. So if you want to say triple M, put that there. You can choose your font, bold, click OK and just insert right there and further down guys you have your location right now is just set at zero so dead centered um, where to run over the language um, this part right here guys this is pretty interesting this is the actual point of your laser so the more you go out if you look at the bottom you see that the burn time gets longer and longer and that's the more detail it's going to be if you push it all the way down here You'll see that the burn time is now nine minutes. You can put it all the way to five minutes, but the quality is not going to be great, guys. So um, I think about I'm going to put this about 20 minutes and I'll show you guys a, a example that I did last night. So I actually burned this one last night. And if you look right about the bottom of my monitor, you see where it gets a little bit grayer. And that's where I actually went in and I switched the, the time and tried to lessen it. And you can see the difference there. So if you guys pick a certain time for your laser, a certain um, pointiness or whatever you want to call it, or the fineness of your laser, uh, you want to leave it for the whole burning process. You don't want to switch it up during the time that you're burning, okay? All right, so I'm gonna leave that at 20 minutes and let me import an image and just show you guys the different options when you do put images in here. So this is pretty straightforward. So let me just move this to the right and I'll kind of move the folder over here. I just downloaded a couple sample pictures so, just so I can show you guys um, what it looks on different things. So the two sample folders that I was talking about that I copied from the disk, you can see the quality. This is a 512 by 512s. And you have a lot of different options that they did provide for you, including the butterfly. So if you were to drag this in here, let me just minimize that. You can see that you have two different options. You have a, a kind of grayer one and you have a, a dark black. So you get to pick one. Let's say you pick that one. That's what it will look like. Let's try another one. And let's go back out. And this time we're going to go to the 550 by 550 samples that they sent for us. You can see you get some more. You have an Iron Man here. So let's click on, oops, let's click on this guy and just drag it in. Here are your two options. This one's a little bit 
grayer this one's more dark so let's click on that one and that's what that one will look like so let's back out I want to show you guys what some real pictures look like so this is Bill Clinton so you have two options here to burn so you can do this one or you can do this guy right here and that's what it will look like after it finishes this is just a um, just a sample um, S Super Nintendo SNES um, icon that I got from Cody today drag it over you have two options here so you get the picture and from here you can do other things you can shrink the image down if you wanted to you can rotate it and you can clear it as well so what I want to do now is just burn a couple pictures I will be burning on different products I will be doing on the cardboard that they provided in the package also be doing it on my wallet and I'll be doing a couple um, printouts on a piece of wood as well that was provided in the package I will be testing the different options of the laser the burn time and that seems to correlate with the darkness or how hot the laser is burning so let's go ahead and jump right into it Alright guys, so I do have my wallet lined up um, and once you get to that point, just send the image to machine and look at the right right here, you can see that it's um, it's downloading, go ahead and minimize this, you see that it's downloading right now and it's going to outline the area on the wallet where it's going to be, then it's going to go dead center. Now from here you do have more options if you wanted to uh, move it a little bit or clear it or reload or shrink you can do that but I'm just going to leave it as big as big as I can just to have it look better on my wallet so from here only thing you have to do is click start and it's going to do its outline again and now we just wait this is going to take about 20 minutes, so I will be fast forwarding this part of the video.
So overall, this was a pretty nice machine. I did have a lot of things that I liked about it. I have a couple things I didn't. As far as the pros, once you get the software installed, it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to operate. You just drag your image, drop it, um, choose the resolution or the image that you like, make edits, whether you want to add words, and it's pretty straightforward from there. I also love the fact that it is portable. It does come with a 6,000 milliamp hour battery that's um, attached to the device, so you can charge it and take it on the road with you and you can connect it to your wireless device uh, it is compatible with windows 7 all the way through windows 10 and it is compatible with your ios devices as well last but not least it is compatible with android 4.0 or above the software was a hassle i wasn't able to use the disc that was provided with the engraver so i had to actually go online and download the software from there so but once you get the software installed like i said it's, it's pretty easy overall pretty impressed with this like i said before you guys can pick it up on amazon it's currently 124 dollars and i'll put a link in the description where you can go ahead and check it out that's it for this video guys if you have any questions please let me know please remember to like share and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next video I'm <laughs> sorry.